Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this video, I would like us to reflect and discuss about obedience of the faith. This video is inspired by the readings of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. And St. Paul mentioned about the gift of apostleship that uh, they received so that they can bring about, or as he said, to bring about obedience of faith to those who are called to be holy. The gospel of that day, Jesus saying, evil is this generation, it seeks a sign, but no sign will be given except the sign of Jonah. Uh, he was assigned to the Ninevites. And, uh, and the sign of Solomon, uh, on whom the Queen of the South even came to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. With these readings, I would like us to consider what St. Paul was saying, the obedience of faith. Very relevant topic for our time because the attitude and the tendency of people when it is about faith, Christian life and faith, the tendency is just to say, well, you know, maybe that's what you believe, but I have different belief. If we truly are following Jesus Christ, then we ought to be in unison to follow Jesus Christ and obedience of the faith about Jesus Christ. So what is this about, the obedience of the faith? First and foremost, I would like us to pay attention that believing, believing in God is believing in God in the way He wants to be believed. Because first of all, faith and belief comes from divine revelations. And the divine revelations, the fulfillment of that is Jesus Christ. And so everything that is contained in divine revelation is what God wants to be believed. And so we obey that. The other way of seeing obedience of the faith is the obedience of the contents of the faith. Whatever is content in the faith that we believe, then we obey whatever is revealed or has been revealed or the things that we believe. Doctrines, rites and rituals, sacraments, the life of the church, our uh, moral teachings, the moral principles, the gospel values, the, the evangelical virtues, and everything. We obey not in an abstract manner. We obey the person. We obey God as a relational God in Jesus Christ our Lord. And so this topic, as I said, is very relevant because there are many ways wherein this becomes clouded. St. Paul says that, that there is the so-called obedience of faith to those who are in Christ. Who are called to be holy in Christ. Enemies. In our time and context, what are the enemies of this obedience of the faith? Three things among many. First and foremost, among many, is the lifestyle. Many times when our lifestyle is not coherent with the teachings of the Lord, it's very easy to filter out whatever that would compromise my lifestyle. Don't rock the boat of my comfort. So, if ever there are teachings of the Lord, if ever there are moral principles, then we right away filter that out. We distance from them. And they still say, well, I believe in God. I am a follower of Jesus Christ. Well, you know, I, I believe, uh, well, you know, I still go to Mass, I am a Catholic, but my lifestyle is different, so it's none of your business. So the obedience of the faith is compromised. 
there is now the obedience only, only when I like it. There is no longer the obedience of the faith in the totality of what it means, obedience of the faith. The second um, enemy to the obedience of the faith is the personal principles, the personal view or views of things. Because yes, you and I, we have different opinions, we have different uh, personal views, yes, we have different life principles, but when it comes to faith, there should not be any difference or distinction or uh, you are different, me different. If we are following Jesus Christ and accepting Jesus Christ in totality of what he has taught and in totality of divine revelation, then our life must conform to his teachings, whether we like it or not, whether it is different from our personal views. And so this topic of obedience of the faith, this can make people uneasy, make us all uneasy. Because in one way or the other, actually, you know, um, the proclamation of the Christian message is love. So let us just, you know, don't rock the boat. Just give on love and love. But St. Paul himself, in his letter to the Corinthians, would put it that love, in his hymn of love, says, love rejoices in the good, in the truth not rejoicing in the bad. So, when therefore our lifestyle is not in the truth, not in the good, if our mentality, our principles are not coherent with the truth and with the good, then we ought to change it. That's why people with this kind of mindset and mentality will filter out anything that will, you know, come into contact or in antagony with personal view, personal principles, life's principles. It would not be, again, obedience of the faith. It would be like a conditional obedience. I will obey only when it is in a line with my personal view, with my personal uh, lifestyle will my with my personal principles the third enemy to the uh, obedience of the faith is the fear of alienation is the fear of alienation from or by peers you see we all have friends we all have circle of friends we have families we have colleagues. And many times when it comes now to faith, of course, sometimes discussion will arise. And when this happens, we ought to explain our faith. We ought to be in the right position of what we believe morally as well as with the faith. And many times we will come into contact with people who will disagree with us. It's okay to have disagreements uh, and then make your stand. We don't have to wage uh, a violent war brutally with each other. No. We just have to present as they present their view, we present our view. But many times we don't want that because it will rock the boat, rock the boat of comfortable relationships. We rock the boat of friendships or in the circle of the family. Um, in our time and context, we should ask this question. When and where are we going to stand for Christ and with Christ? Isn't it during these times when in those events, we are being asked to defend our faith and also explain our faith. Or maybe we cannot explain because we are lacking in 
the defense and to make a point of our faith. And that's why we have to study. And again, it takes efforts. And so, since we don't give a lot of efforts in fortifying and building up the knowledge of our faith, then we rather filter out, we filter out anything that will uh, compromise our relationship with others, will compromise our uh, good relationships, good vibes with our friends. We tend, okay, to be socially nice, to be politically correct, then obedience of the faith can be compromised. We will only obey in the way we want. And so, in conclusion, I want us therefore to build in ourselves the sense of imitation of Christ's obedience to the Father. The obedience of the faith is based on Christ's obedience to the Father. Where can we encounter the teachings of Christ? Divine revelation. Where can we encounter Christ? In the sacraments, in the church, in His church. And so, we journey together in faith and love of God. But many times there are events and experiences wherein we are asked to give reason to our faith, to give reason to our hopes, according to St. Peter. So, uh, in our time and context, as I said, this obedience of the faith is therefore very relevant. That is why the example of obedience of the faith that was given Monday of the 28th week of the ordinary time this year, the gospel was about uh, the Ninevites. They obeyed what Jonah preached to them. So they had salvation. The queen of the south obeyed the words of Solomon. And so they have obedience of the faith. The people were, were told by Jesus, a evil is, the, is this generation because his listeners that time as he speaks were asking for a sign. And there were already signs that he already, miracles that he already performed. And so there was no obedience of the faith. In our time, let the statement of Jesus Christ not, not happen. Evil is this generation. May we not be counted among those that put into compromise the faith, but rather persevere in obedience to the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Persevere in obedience of the faith. We ask the Blessed Mother Mary. She obeyed the will of God. She obeyed the words given her by the Lord through the Archangel Gabriel. Obedience of the faith was also in her. May she help us and inspire us and guide us always to follow her son faithfully. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others.